video, we talked about Inter's move to try to sign Arturo Vidal, how Simone Inzaghi's wife saved a little boy's life, and could Bonucci and Villa to Milan be off? What is up, everybody? I'm Marco Messina. And I'm Michael Cantaros. And welcome back to Italian Football TV. We are back with the transfer news. Get in on that daily grind for these videos again, because you guys love these videos so much. There's some, a good amount of news over here. We're gonna do them a little bit differently, yeah, right? Exactly. You say it? Yeah. So we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna try to give more depth inside instead of just more width. Yeah. And we're gonna go to um, just picking the top stories, the top one or two stories for uh, the biggest news for today in all Serie A, and just discuss it and give our opinion more than just laying out all of the news. So let us know what you think. And we're gonna start off with some Juventus news where the biggest news today came from Corriere del Sport who reported, Michael, that Kovacic's agent is trying to push for a move to Juventus. Apparently, he told Juventus that they want, that he wants them to sign his client Kovacic, Mateo Kovacic, on a loan with option to buy at 25 million euros. Hmm. Marotta heard this and he is not sold on the idea just yet. Yeah. He's taking his time to think about it, but he didn't like it at first. What do you think about Mateo Kovacic being the man for the midfield. He's 23 years old. He made that move from Inter to Real Madrid. What do you think about him? I mean, I like Kovacic. He hasn't gotten so many minutes. You know, he was a big prospect when he went from Inter to Real Madrid. I just don't think he's the guy for Juve, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a guy that Juve need and... I don't know, maybe for a smaller Serie A club? Really? Do I dare say Bologna? No, not Bologna. Really? If he goes back to Inter or something, or I don't know about Milan, I think Inter could use him again. I actually am not too oh, wow. opposed to this in regards to who Juventus have been linked with. But they're going to sign thought... him instead of like a big player. Okay. That's what I'm scared of. That's where you're going for me. That's okay. the same direction I was going in. If you're telling me that it's either Matuidi or Enzonzi or Kovacic, I would go for Kovacic. But they're going to be but... instead of Verratti. That's what they're okay. going to Okay, I want Verratti. You guys you know, know that, Juve, that I really Juve. want Juventus to sign Verratti. I think he's one of the only midfielders off the top of my head that Juventus could sign and need for the world-class player, and they need midfielder. But I'm not opposed to Mateo Kovacic. He's 23. He's got experience at Real Madrid. He's a type of player that Juventus needs. Okay. So you, you're opposed to this? I just don't think he's going to be a great player. He's, he has I, a lot... He has a lot of potential. He's a year older than us. He hasn't it's developed yet. He hasn't even played. He's 20. He learned a lot. It's he a learning experience at Real Madrid. Come on, a learning experience. Come on. Kovacic, um, Matuidi, or Enzozi. Who would you choose? Uh, probably Kovacic. Okay. But that doesn't I just make want to know. I know. I just want to know. Well, but Marota sticking instead of Verratti. Okay, okay, okay. That's why he's saying he's keeping it on the hold. And it's not a bad deal. Option to buy, 25 million loan. Yeah. Not bad at all. There was one other Juventus news. I'm just gonna list this just because it was pretty big, so I'll throw this one in there. This one's Corriere del Sport. They say that Paolo Dybalo will not leave Juventus for any offer that comes in. Yes! 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 Oh, those yes! Are new ones. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes! Even if Barca offer 130 to 140 million in, hey, yeah. um, they say that as long as Dybala doesn't want to leave, he is staying no matter the offer that Barcelona know. Um, if you want to hear our opinion on this, just watch yesterday's video and skip through because we already spoke about this and we're not going to waste time speaking about it more when we can move on to Roma news right now where Monchi gave an interview where he finally responded to some Morris questions. <laughs> <laughs> not from us though. <laughs> Did it work for Italian Football TV? We tried. <laughs> um, well, he didn't say anything really. He said there's no new news on Mares. He says, but the only thing he does know is that Roma will be signing someone good for that wing position. He says that's a priority. That's what Di Francesco wants. That's what the whole club wants. And Corriere del Sport have linked two new names on top of the list of Vasquez and Emmer Moore, which are Berardi, which is not really a new name, but this one, Juan Mata. What are your thoughts wow, wow. on okay. those four guys? Person Berardi, they can get him easy. He's from Sassuolo. He, he got half the team, basically. No, bro, they can. They want 15 million for him. Whatever. I, I don't think okay, he's worth it. First of all, okay. I don't think he's worth it. Not even Speak make, about the other Not guys. even 20 million. Speak about the uh, Mata. Mata's pretty good, actually. I don't think... I, don't, I can't see him going Me there. Too. Right? Yeah. That's, that's a little too much. Out I don't mean to disrespect Roma. Out of the four or five, would you choose? Would you break the bank, break the bank to try to sign Berardi? who could potentially be the Italian that they keep for many years. He's not, he's, he's no. damaged goods, that okay. guy. He's gonna keep getting injured. It was Ember Moore, and who was the other guy there? Vasquez. 
that we watched at the MLS game with Real Madrid and also the MLS All-Star game was fantastic. They include they include a lot yes, of technology yeah. that was criticized, but Michael and I were loving the referee cam. I thought it was pretty good. Pretty cool. He looked stupid with the thing on but it. Look, I like the different In match respect. interviews. Yeah, it, was, it was cool. It was very, anyway. I wasn't bored at all. Whatever yeah. for that game. But Lucas Vasquez or Mahrez, I wouldn't mind any of those players. Both of them. But no, don't spend that much. I like Mahrez. I like Mahrez. I'm sold on Mahrez. I think that they got to get the Mahrez deal done. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to Inter news where Gazette de Lo Sport is pushing back on all of Bayern's statements saying they do, that Vidal is 100% going to stay. They say that Arturo Vidal, despite again what everyone is saying, he is not very happy at Bayern and he wants to leave. Now wants to leave, he's open to leaving. And Gazette say that Vidal, that Inter are willing to offer Bayern 50 million euros and offer Vidal a 7.5 million euro contract a season to wow. try to sign him. Before you comment on this, Auxilio, who is Inter's director, said Vidal is impossible. So make of it what you will. I don't know, where are they getting these funds from? 50 million and 7.5 million. If they have this much money, how come they, they didn't wake up until August? If PSG spent that much on Neymar, I don't want to hear any excuse. They should go full on for, uh, for PSG Vidal. PSG and Inter, bro. Why not? Bro, the PSG like, owner what? is like a freaking... Uh, I, I, I by the world, bro. You can buy anything you want. But yeah, I think this is a little far-fetched. They were talking about it in the beginning of the Mercado, never materialized. They're just adding it again, so Inter fans will get mad. Probably true because well, the Inter news. You guys get <laughs> mad at us for now reporting on it, but we can't do anything. We don't, we don't have don't inside want, sources yeah. yet. And we don't want to put. Yeah, and we don't want to put those. Uh, you know the the yeah. BS source. We're only putting the good sources. Well, and I don't know. This I don't know. I would love it. I mean, I think yeah, this of course would be I would love it. But I don't they see went that. from Nayeem Milan Vidal to now just Vidal because Nayeem Milan is staying. Yeah. He 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 tattooed the guy's uh, chest. My boy Brad. And also, Osilio did say that Inter have offered Perisic a renewal of his contract. Again, we spoke about this a little bit yesterday, but he came out confirming it. And let's move on to some Milan news where we'll talk about the story that is kind of everyone is getting very nervous about, and there is a lot of confusion on this one today. Calcio and Finanza, who are a site that help look into the business side of the sport of Calcio. They say that Milan are finding it difficult to find bonds to pay for Bonucci and Lucas Villa. They say specifically that a bond company, who is actually one of their sponsors, did not approve of them to issue a bond because they couldn't get certain guarantees. Um, but before everyone goes crazy, First of all, a bond is a very normal thing for a club to get, for a team to get. They get this so that they can pay for their players. They don't need it right now. As, as Fasone said, he's surprised that anyone is getting is making a fuss over this. He says because no other Serie A clubs that he knows of have gotten their bonds yet and the deadline is August 11th and he says everything will be just fine. So basically, he's saying that the media is making this a bigger deal than it is because they still have about seven to eight days left and to get these bonds approvals. And at the end of the day, they're gonna get these bonds approvals. I mean, everyone's making a big deal saying, uh, what's the name, Bonucci's going back to Juve, Bidio's going back to Lazio, when that wouldn't even be the case. This is Italy that we're talking about. They don't know what a deadline is. They push the deadline back. How many times do we hear the deadline <laughs> to sign for, for Milan's Chinese holders is this day? Guys, they push it back. There's no such thing. All they have to do is just get a bond for it. It's not going to be an issue. Yeah, we got so many messages about some chaos happening, but it's all going to work out. It's just a, a little of a delay. It's not even a delay. It's a deadline when they're going to get it and just a matter of time when they're going to be signed. But they're not registered Milan players as of yet, but they're still chained with that team and all that good stuff. Yes. So yeah, like you said, they're not registered players because uh, like Bonucci and Bia couldn't play in Milan's win today. Fantastic win at that 2-0 win. Uh, they were actually pretty impressive. I like Cassia and, uh, and what's his name? Yes. Uh, Andre, Andrea Conti. But yeah, I mean, they, they just can't play yet, basically. And this Calcio Finanza, they're trying to say that they didn't get the issue on the bond yet when, again, the deadline is in... They still got some time. They still Not got some time. time. Did you actually check out the goals? Look, I got them right here. <laughs> the guys, I'm showing Marco Bonucci at the San Siro, packed San Siro Stadium. I was just kidding about the goals, Mark. Does this still hurt that he left? Hello? <laughs> See Bonucci? Poor Marco, guys. Oh, man. Uh, he's still left. He's still a class defender. He didn't play for Milan yet, but they did progress. 
in the Europa League and they're going to the playoffs of the Europa Can League. Can we move on? Can I hang Are in there? All right. Are we still in the middle so, of uh, Yeah, we're still okay, in the So far, so on that. Uh, after the game, he was also asked um, about Falcao and Ibra being on the list of strikers who we know they're still trying to sign a striker. Mm -hmm. He said he would not rule out them as he will not rule out any names that he's been listed to. So, do you think there's a chance that Ibra would go back to Milan this summer? We're hearing some speculation amongst fans. No real sources are actually talking about this, so I'm surprised the journalists even asked Fasona about this. But, I started to take a step back and step back and think, that's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at, at all. At all. I would, not... I would rather Ibra than Falcao or Diego Costa or Kalinic. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's going to happen. They're late to everyone. They're going to get Kalinic. I don't care what happens. But yeah, Ibra wouldn't be that bad. He squeeze out one more, maybe two years left in He's him. a winner. He has, he has that winner's mentality. That'd be fun to see him back. And he gets his ponytail back though, right? Yeah. The only time he hasn't won a league is when he played against Juventus and against Conte. So, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, I, you know what? Listen, guys, I'm happy. I'm happy because if Ibra did go back, it brings value to the game. Ibra is class. He's, a, he's, he's an icon. Class. He's an icon. I mean, this guy attracts fans no matter where it goes. People are already excited about the Serie A. And if Ibra goes there, this just adds on to the excitement. We had one of our friends here who was helping us design some stuff that is coming very soon to IFTV. And he was saying, Geez, Milan looks so good. This Milan is so interesting. This kid's a Liverpool and Real Madrid fan. Yeah, I mean, seriously. that says it all. And he's excited to see what Milan do. And listen, congrats. I would love Ibra to sign because it would add interest into the game. And for me, it would be who they're linked to. Belotti, of course, number one. Then Ibra, then the rest. Okay, I can see. You agree? Ibra, he, he has that... He's on a different level. He could change your he's match. On a, exactly. Yeah. That, that's what's so amazing. Even though he's older, the, the passion still stays. Mike, huh? never mind, man. We got Cutrone up uh, top. He's who's actually, who's actually doing very good. Yeah. He's saying it as a joke. He's no, actually, I was saying it he as has a, a lot of potential. Like the Milan fan getting defensive over here. Okay, uh, talk about Diego Costa with two seconds. Um, his representative and lawyer, guys, representative and lawyer, not agent, we know. If, if you are on Twitter today, you know uh, all the everything that happened. I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, his representative and lawyer said that he will only go to Atletico Madrid. No Milan for him, as it seems. I don't think Milan fans will be too upset with this one because Diego Costa, he was just better than Kalinic, better than some of the other names listed. He's still solid. He's not really. Yeah, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. No one to cry over, to yeah, be exactly. honest. Um, and some viral moments. Yes, we said we're going to switch things up. Mike, we got some crazy. I wouldn't say funny moments because it's kind of messed up to say funny oh, moments. Yes, where Matic actually during their game against Sampdoria, he kicked the ball into the crowd and hit a lady in the face. And you might be asking, why are we talking about Matic and the Premier League? Yeah, maybe they played Sampdoria, but why do we care about this? Because that lady was Giampaolo's wife. Matic kicked the ball at Giampaolo's wife. Right wow. in the face. That, that right in the so face. Nice. Like this, man. <laughs> like this, like this. All right. Wait, that's, that, that's, that's a sign of a ball. You better take it easy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, don't right don't throw it on the floor. All right. Ready? All right, make believe it hits your face. Okay. Make believe it hits your face. Okay, go. Oh, just like that. No not, copyright not, intended. Not only did Sampdoria lose, but uh, the coach's wife got hit in that head with the bro, ball. bro, Giampaolo in that locker room like this, man. We already saw him teaching Mourinho one. He went on to teach him. <laughs> Matic had to kick a ball, and then this is actually pretty amazing. Like we said in the intro, Simone Inzaghi's, I'm not sure actually if it's white. I said wife in the intro, but it might be just his girlfriend, so I'll just call her a girl. Spouse. She, she, she <laughs> saved, not spouse, spouse is like, huh? no. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Spouse right, right. right. Okay, I don't know, <laughs> you, you call a girlfriend a spouse? No, that's like a old school word, that's like a proper word. Okay, anyway, uh, his spouse <laughs> saved a little boy's life while they were on vacation actually this is absolutely incredible basically this little boy was suffocating and she performed cpr on him and then she urges everyone she put out a post urging everyone to learn cpr because in her words a little bit of your time is enough to be able to save a life if the moment comes absolutely incredible from mm -hmm. simone inzaghi's spouse come on Stop it up right there. Marco, we should take some classes 
We should. We should do an IFTV course on IFTV us. IFTV course. That's true. Why do we always say IFTV? I don't know. I don't know. Shout out. Part of it. Shout, out. Shout out. Okay. There we go. Let me see. Oh, and we got to do it for the people who ordered hats That's right. Today. Let me okay. check. Let me I check got the this. orders. Guys, we got some awesome orders. Yeah, a lot of stuff is coming to IFTV. Let us know if you like this new format. I feel like we go into depth. And like we show our personality a little bit more, we talk a little bit more, we have a little fun. You okay, know? so we found one. A few I was people, actually just talking give, about. give everyone who gave. Oh, everyone, okay. everyone. Oh, wow, yeah. we got a massive Let's shout out. people who bought yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay I got Get them all. Okay, so I'm gonna just name First and last name. First and last name. Yeah. First one up is Marcus Nicole. That's my boy, MM. I like that. MM. Nicholas Yami. That's my boy. Michael Rupi. Ahmed Al Sudir. And uh, Harrison Shrib. Sriparth, I can't say that. Sriparthipon. Sounds like a Greek name, bro. No, it's not. Parthenon, right? Parthenon. Oh, it's Parthenon. close Parthenon. enough. But yeah, Amazing. Those, those are the guys that, that got the hats, actually. Harrison, Ahmad, Michael, Nicholas, Marcus. Those are that our boys. Guys. They, they got the IMTV hats. So like we said in our previous video, if you uh, pre-order hats or something, send us an email or we'll just check and we'll be in the shout-out yes. the next video. Yes, yes, yes. And if no one does buy a hat, someone else will get a shout out. So turn on your post notifications for YouTube and Instagram and send us a DM anyway. Yes. Uh, guys, comment below your thoughts on what we had to say. And if you like this new format, as always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao guys. guys. On this video, we talked to you about how. <laughs> On this video, we talked to you about Inter's move to try to sign Arturo Vidal. How Simone Inzaghi's wife saved a little boy's wife. <laughs> a little boy's wife. <laughs>